hey there today i am going to start with the second problem from the week 8 which is about the cookie jar let us look into the problem the problem is states that we are supposed to create a class called cookie jar or jar.py where it should be having a class with these methods init stir deposit withdraw capacity and size in it should initialize the cookie jar with a given capacity which represents the maximum number of cookie cookies that can fit in the cookie jar if the capacity is not a non negative it means whether it, if it is zero or less than zero then it should be raising a value error underscore underscore a star underscore underscore should return a star with n number of cookies this with this emoticon where n is the number of the cookies in the jar at the moment so if there are three cookies in the jar then it should return uh, three emoticons of cookies deposit should add n number of cookies to the jar if it is going to exceed the jars capacity then deposit should instead raise a value error and so is the withdraw which should remove n number of cookies from the cookie jar but if there aren't many enough cookies or if we are trying to withdraw the cookies more than the capacity it should be raising a value error capacity should return the jars capacity and size should return the number of cookies at present in the jar initially zero so there is a difference between the capacity and the size for example capacity of a jar could be 10 but actual number of cookies at the moment in this jar can be 6 so capacity is going to be 10 and size in this case will be 6 and then here we have been given a pseudo code over here uh, we you may not alter these methods parameters but you may add your own method so we can allowed or free to add our own methods but we cannot change any of these methods so let me copy it and i am going to paste it into code spaces in a minute then we are supposed to write a test file as well having four or more functions that is going to test the implementation of the class jar here in the hints we have already been given four test cases so i am going to uh, uh, write my test cases around these only and i will be copying it when i am going to write the test cases one thing i must say here uh, or it is a sort of confession that i am more of a functional programmer and less of an object oriented programmer but now that i have started to learn dynamic programming so i have i once again started going through the object oriented programming fundamentals and in fact i went through the lecture from cs50 python again now let us get going the first method is init method and it has two parameters self and capacity is equal to 12 capacity is equal to 12 is the by default capacity which means if we initialize a jar without supplying any capacity it is going to be 12 if we initialize a jar with a capacity of 5 then that 5 is going to override this 12 and the capacity of the jar will be 12 so let me initialize here first self dot capacity is equal to capacity and self dot size i am going to set it to initially zero as it has been advised if you check it over here size should return the number of cookies actually in the cookies are initially set to zero i am not checking here whether the capacity is less than zero or not that i will be checking up later now i am going to initialize this a star method underscore underscore star underscore underscore and it should return the actual number of cookies so return cookies that emoticons multiplied by self dot size now that i have defined init method and the star method now i am going down a little bit here to the property here capacity so here in this method what i am going to do here is that define i am going to say here def capacity and simply return self underscore capacity and here i am going to define a setter for it and setter it is going to take up two parameters self and the capacity so here and now i am going to check if the capacity is less than zero raise value error we can leave up to here but we let's give some message capacity cannot be negative 
now what i have done over here is that i have here i have defined a getter this was already given and here i have defined a setter now here after checking it so i am going to write a self underscore self dot underscore capacity is equal to capacity now i am using here underscore before the capacity only because the method name and here you see the method name and the attribute both are if capacity then python is going to be confused so we need to make a distinction between these two so by convention it is under a score which is written before the uh, attribute here if you want i can write here x so here also i need to go and change it to x i can write anything to make it a different from the method name but let us stick to the convention of using the underscore so now i have defined capacity getter and setter and here i am checking if the capacity is less than 0 or not now after that let us move on to the other properties here now we have got deposit for deposit we need to check two things so let us start writing the functions here if n n is the number of deposits over here if n is greater than the capacity so if the capacity let us say the capacity of the jar is 10 and if we are trying to deposit 12 then it should throw us a value error this is one thing or another scenario is that let us say again the capacity is 10 and there are already two cookies inside it so now the maximum that we can deposit is 8 that is 10 minus 2 and what if we try to put in 12 it should throw an error so let us write here n plus self dot underscore size i have yet not defined i will be doing it in a little while so bear with me if it is greater than self dot capacity if either of these two conditions are met so either the, we are trying to put in more than the capacity or if there are already certain cookies and now we are trying to add again so that it exceeds the capacity then we should raise a value error raise value error let's give here a message trying to deposit more than the capacity otherwise what we are going to do here is that self dot underscore size plus equal to n so if the if there are no cookies already there if it is zero cookie then it is going to be let's say 10 if we are trying to deposit then it will be 10 if there are two cookies already there in and if we are trying to add 5 then it will become 2 plus 5 7 now come down here to withdraw again the same thing here two conditions so if n is greater than self dot capacity so if the capacity is 10 and we are trying to withdraw 12 then it should throw us an error otherwise second condition here is that if we are if there are only five cookies inside it although the capacity is 10 but only five cookies are there and if we try to withdraw seven then again we should be getting an error so if n is greater than self underscore pay attention to the underscores wherever i am putting then again raise a value error and let's again give a nice message cannot withdraw more than the capacity or size otherwise self dot underscore size minus equal to going to be n now we are done with here now only thing is left is to define the size here so here there is one method already given for the size so let us utilize that this is going to be our getter method so def is already there so return self underscore size is equal to size now i am going to define here size dot setter 
and as usual it is going to take two parameters self and the size self underscore size is equal to size wrong spelling I need to correct it before I run any test cases let me have a look into the program so this looks good okay that is fine this is also good oh no here it should be I need to remove it it should only be written so if I write here def main and let me put something jar is equal to jar 5 I am initializing it with a capacity of 5 print jar dot capacity and if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to equal to main then and if I come over here python jar dot pi 5 so it is working let us try to deposit something here jar dot deposit so I am going to deposit here 6 more than the capacity capacity is 5 so I am trying to deposit 6 so I should be getting a value error okay trying to deposit more than the capacity that is fine let me put it here something like 4 then it should be fine then print jar and then let us withdraw something jar with draw and let's say we draw 10 again I am trying to withdraw more than the capacity so it should give me a value error here so okay so 5 is getting printed capacity deposit 4 is working printing jar it is giving me 4 cookies here which is working fine withdraw 10 that is giving me the error cannot withdraw more than the capacity or size so let us make it for example let's say 2 and if I now try to uh, here now it is working fine so the program looks good now we can turn over to the writing test cases I have already copied here the test cases that I was given into the hints so let us start writing it here so test in it so I am going to initialize two jars jar 1 and jar jar underscore 1 and jar underscore 2 first I am going to initialize without supplying any capacity so it means what I have said earlier over here is that if we are going to initialize jar without give, supplying any capacity then by default it is going to take 12 so here it will be capacity is going to be 12 so and second one is jar underscore 2 is equal to jar and let us initialize it with 5 now assert jar underscore 1 dot capacity it is going to be equal to 12 that is the default capacity and assert jar underscore one dot size we have already initialized it with zero and I have not put anything over here so it is going to be zero similarly assert jar underscore two is dot capacity is equal to equal to we have initialized it with five so it is going to be five here and size as usual it is going to be zero I am not going to do any th changes into this uh, def test underscore str because it is already given over here. So let let it be like this only. Now deposit. Yeah. So again, let us initialize with jar is equal to jar here. I am not supplying any capacity. Now let us deposit three cookies here. Jar dot deposit three therefore the size is going to be size we have initialized it to 0 now we have deposited 3 so size is going to be 3 so jar dot size is equal to equal to 3 here yeah. see let us make one more deposit 
this time let us say we are making four, four cookies here remember here we have initialized jar without any parameter so by default capacity is 12 so first we deposited three so size is going to be three and now again we have deposited four so now the size is going to be three plus four that is seven so this is also done let us come down to here again i am going to initialize it without any capacity here so by default it is going to be 12 so jar dot deposit let us say 12 we are depositing 12 jar dot withdraw and i am going to withdraw 2 so what is the going to be the capacity of the jar jar dot size i need to write here assert so we deposited 12 we have withdrawn 2 so it is going to be 10 let us make one more withdrawal jar dot with draw let us at this time we withdraw 5 so now the size will be jar now the size will be assert jar dot size we have deposited 12 already we drew 2 so 10 was left now out of 10 we are withdrawing again 5 so now we are left with 5 and here let us write here if name underscore underscore is equal to equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore and then main let us have a look before i run the pi test so here it looks okay we have not done anything if this is as it is from the cs50 deposit okay ah here jar dot size should be equal to equal to 5 now let us try to run the pi test everything is passed so let us now run the cs50 checks here let me come down and find here copied and if i go over here and paste it by the time it is extracting the result i would like to share with you that i have been publishing videos related to python on my youtube channel i will share the link of the playlists of those videos in the description box you can go and check those videos out let us wait for the result here it's taking a bit of time ah so let me pull it a little up everything is in green so it means that our test cases have test cases and the class code everything has passed or met the cs50 parameters and we are good to submit it so that was it for this video if you find this video useful consider giving it a like share it with your friends who are pursuing cs50 for python and subscribe to my channel for video con uh, solution videos related to cs50 for python and other than that as well till that time happy coding